All right, so the next step is that we're going to import the, so I'm, I'm picking up where we left off last time. So at this point, first of all, you've gone through the initial installation instructions, Android Studio is installed, Git is installed. You're gonna need both those tools in just a second. I've also accepted the GitHub Classroom invitation, so I have my own copy of the sources for the MP. One thing I'm gonna point out is that if you're choosing to collaborate, that's great, but both of you still need to submit all of the MP checkpoints to, uh, individually, excuse me, right? So there's no joint submission. You and your partner are welcome to work together and talk about what you're doing, but you must submit your code independently um, to earn credit. Okay, so here I am, I'm on the page that I arrived at after accepting the invitation. Now, I accepted the GitHub Classroom invitation, I refreshed the page, I ended up here, this is the code, right? I've also started up uh, Android Studio, and this is what the splash screen looks like at this point with the latest version. This is 2020.3.1. Uh, um, okay, so now what's next, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go to code, and there may be several different links that you can use here. So there's HTTPS, there's SSH, uh, I'm gonna use this SSH link. You probably wanna use the HTTPS link. Now you wanna copy this link, okay? Do not click on open in GitHub desktop and do not click on download zip. These are not how we're going to do it. And these will lead to you having an incorrect setup that'll make it impossible for you to submit your work. Um, so in my case, you probably wanna use this HTTPS link. In my case, I'm gonna use this SSH link. I'm gonna hit copy. And then I'm going to go to Android Studio. I'm going to click on Get from VCS. Okay, and I paste this um, this URL in here. It's going to ask me where I want to put things. I'm going to change this to uh, to my CS124 directory. You can put this anywhere on your computer. Um, the version control is going to be Git, um, and you also so this is going to work for me. If you're doing this for the first time and you've just installed Android Studio, you probably need to configure it so that it can access your GitHub account, which may involve adding the password or setting up some other type of authentication. Uh, and there's good instructions for how to do that online. Okay, I'm gonna hit clone and, oh wow, the cat just showed up. Um, all right, so, so I wanna trust this project, right? I'm gonna hit trust project. Um, we're, we're not gonna attack your computer. Um, all right, so initially things look pretty broken. Um, and you know, you can install this plugin if you want to see this more nicely formatted. This is a format called Markdown. This is just the README that uh, you see nicely formatted on, on, I'll maximize this. Now what's happening down here, and, and this is a little confusing because when you load this, you might start trying to click around and thing, think that things are broken or whatever. But what's happening down here is that um, there's a tool that's running called Gradle that is accessing the files and the variety of uh, different um, source code and other libraries that are needed in order to support the project. So until this goes down here goes away, um, you know we're actually not ready to go. Um, and, and actually, you can still see over here. There's the syncing thing. Um, so I'm, you know you can wait this out for a few minutes, particularly if you're on a slow internet connection. This might take a while. Um, if you are overseas, you may run into problems at this point. You may need to turn on the Illinois VPN, or you may need to configure Android Studio to access some of the source code that you need to use from, from different places. And we can help you with that on the forum. If you ask for it, um, we'll walk you through whatever you need to do to, to get this set up properly. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna open the project. This is what's called the project view. Right now I'm in uh, the Android, this is kind of the Android style view. I'm gonna open up the project view. This allows me to browse through the files that are contained in this project. Let me make this a little smaller. Um, I can close the readme. Um, and most of the code that we're gonna be working on is here in this app directory. Um, so if you go in here, you see app source. There's a couple of different folders here. We'll go through this all later. Uh, but this is the kind of the thing that you should see when you're getting started. Now, if you click on run app, you will need to configure an emulator. And uh, again, this is another part of the getting started process that was covered in one of the previous installation um, manuals. Um, you can run your Android code, uh, the starter code that we provide on, on an actual device. I can show you what that's going to look like. Um, this is gonna take a few minutes to, to start, particularly if you're on a slower machine. Uh, it takes a few minutes even on my machine, which is pretty powerful. Um, 
and you'll see now I've got this emulated phone that's in this nice window right here and eventually what's happening and again this is slow there's a certain patience that you're going to have to acquire when you work with android studio um, it's building an entire android app containing the starter code that we provided and it's going to install the app on this emulated device and then start it but you'll see down here in the corner it says gradle build running there's still something happening so you know one of the things to get used to with android studio right away is the fact that it can be slow. Uh, there's, you know, you're building an entire Android app. That's not a necessarily a fast process. So down here, you can see what's happening. Now I'm installing the app um, and then it's gonna be launched, right? So now you'll see it starts up and what I expect to see is a list of restaurants in some random order uh, and a search bar at the top, right? So that, that's pretty cool. Let's stop that. Um, something else that we can do that, that should work uh, right away and something that you'll probably be be interested in trying is we can try to grade the assignment. Now, the official grading process requires that you push your code to GitHub, and we will have a tutorial about how to do that uh, tomorrow. Um, but right now, when you run the grading step, I wanna make something very clear. This runs on your machine, and it is not an official grade. All it does is it runs the same test that we run when we grade your code for your actual score, but it runs on your machine and it uses your tests. And so, you know, we don't trust. So this is a way of estimating your score at any given point. So let's run that and see what happens. Uh, this error message or this warning is normal. I have tried for multiple 15 minute increments to get this to go away and I've never figured out how, but it is harmless, so don't worry about it. Um, all of these different steps down here are different parts of the process of preparing your code to be graded by our by our tools, and at some point, is this still running? Uh, there, we, okay. So this this failed. Now, why did it fail? So one of the things that we're going to learn together uh, when we start using Android Studio is how to read the output from Android Studio together. And this can be tough because there's quite a bit here. There's some things that failed and things like that, but the real problem uh, is right here. It says invalid number of collaborators and identification file. And that's because one of the first things that you're gonna to have to do when you get started with the MP is add a, your identifier to this file called id.txt. This is how we identify your code when you submit. So the, one of the first things you should, you should do is add your ID to this file. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna show you how to do that, but it's gonna be my ID. Your ID will be in the same spot on the website, but it's for you. Don't use your partner's ID, don't use somebody else's ID. Doing that will put you at the risk of committing an academic integrity violation. Um, so instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the website. Uh, here's the getting started page, and here's my ID. So I'm gonna copy this, the period is not part of it. I go over here, I stick it in here. I can get rid of this blank line or not, it doesn't matter. And now let me try grading again. So again, this is my ID, don't use this, right? This is linked to challenge at illinois.edu. You want to use a different ID. Nice thing is it's so long that hopefully by the time somebody is like done copying it, they'll heard me say several times, don't use this ID. This is mine. Um, you will have one that looks different, but uh, the, the structure of the string will look a little bit similar, but all the contents will be different. Once I have this, now what's going to happen is when I run the grader, it's actually going to grade the code, right? So now it knows who I am, um, and it's gonna run the code, and this is the output that you're going to see. Now we're gonna dig into this more tomorrow. This is where we're gonna stop. Some of you will go farther today, that's totally okay. But tomorrow what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about testing, uh, we're gonna talk about understanding what's happening during this process, we're gonna talk about actually how to run the test suites and see the output and figure out what's going on, and a little bit about the high level structure, just starting to understand some of the high level structure of how this particular app works. But this is as far as we want you to get today and it's it's enough, right? So if you finish today having installed Android Studio, installed Git, getting the software packages you need, being able to access the code, import the repository into your uh, Android Studio and actually be able to run the grader and add your ID, you are good. That is all we expected of you today and you should feel really good about that. If you get stuck, ask for help. We have a week to figure this out. Um, we give you, you know, plenty of time to get started at the beginning just to work through various issues that usually come up during installation. And we are happy to help on the forum, on the help site, 
whatever, ask your peers if you can reach out to them in various ways. Uh, we will get everybody set up to use Android Studio uh, so that you can work on the MP. 